It's funny, I always felt that I was special. <laughs> it was a truth that no one expected, and it caught many people by surprise. Over the summer, mass communication student Joe Andre Segu revealed on Facebook that he had been diagnosed with autism. The reason that I went public on Facebook is because, you know, I just felt that everyone, they needed to know that what I was going through. According to the National Health Statistics Report, one in 45 children aged 3 to 17 have been diagnosed with autism, a developmental disorder that affects a person's ability to communicate and interact with others. Known for his extroverted nature and sense of humor, Joe Andre doesn't fit the typical idea of an autistic person, causing his friends to react with disbelief to the news. Autism has a lot of shapes and faces and forms. Rio Smith, Joe Andre's best friend and roommate, doesn't see his disability as a flaw, rather as something that makes him unique. Maybe autism is just a intense version of introspection, maybe. The idea of self-love and self-acceptance, right, is, revolu is a revolutionary way of thinking. Through years of reading self-help books and frequent counseling, Joe says he has gained insight about himself, becoming more vocal and confident in spite of his diagnosis. I am me. I am my authentic self. I said it's crazy out here. It's maybe lazy out here. It's few you know, artistic people, here, you know, saying, they love to be alone. You know, be, and not because they don't want to, you know, be bothered or anything. It's because they have, they're probably doing other activities like art, you know, fashion, design, because they're highly creative. You know, they're highly creative people. While he had no difficulty making friends growing up, his need for solitude and a creative flair made him stand out among the other children at school. I was an odd kid. <laughs> I was just super different. I met a lot of people who, you know, they, they try to pick on me, try to bully me, but I wasn't having that. <laughs> for people with mental, physical, and emotional challenges, it can be difficult to feel accepted among their peers. So, how does Joe Andre move beyond the insecurity that might come from his mental disability? I just don't care. <laughs> Why would I care? Why would I care about what somebody got to say about me? Autistic or not, he's definitely comfortable being in his own, being in his own element. And I think that's a, a, a trait of his that I think a lot of people should be able to appreciate. When you stop caring about other people's opinion, your life is so much better. It's so great. It is awesome. It is on 100. <laughs> The Autism Society of Alabama works with a variety of organizations to increase awareness and understanding of autism spectrum disorder. To learn more or to donate to their cause, visit www.autism-alabama.org. Reporting for Falcon Weekly, I'm Carmela Williams.